Okay, good evening everyone. This is Bongo Soria for another recast because I actually failed my first recast because I forgot to mention my shout out. So, uh, first of all, foremost, shout out to Gino Morhia. Um, Gino, I know I neglected you this past uh, this, this past video, so I'm going to make sure that you get all the special attention that you need because you're a special boy, aren't you? So, yeah, so um, here I am. I'm spawned as a blue Protoss and my opponent is torch uh, red zerg so uh, in this in this game I'm trying a build called as a one uh, du dual gate into Phoenix so well uh, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna turtle until I have enough Phoenixes to harass my opponent so uh, now as you can see my opponent is making a six pool so six pool rush so he's making a spawning pool and yeah I'm, I was just about to scout it so uh, I immediately see that uh, there's a spawning pool going down, so I immediately know what I should expect and how I should react appropriately to it. And <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, and now I'm just got tr gonna try and get my gateway as fast as possible because um, if you're if you're a pro if you're a Protoss or a Terran and you're fighting against a six pool, uh, you wanna get your gate uh, wall in as soon as possible. So. This is me here. I'm dropping down my first gateway. So that's quite far away from my cybernetic core, but I need I need to drop it as soon as possible if I am to prevent this rush. So my opponent is already making. Uh, yeah, I think he's make okay. He's now making his six zergling. So that's a very scary thing, and I see it because my probe is just like running around all over the place and is trying to see as much as possible what is going on so back in my base I'm like freaking out I'm saying oh my god oh my god please finish in time you damn gateway you so I can drop down my cybernetic spawn and my opponent has just gotten his six zergling so which is very scary so here I'm just gonna drop down my cybernetic score and I'm gonna chrono boost my first zealot um, chrono boost is actually a pretty interesting ability because it reduces the build time of a building by 50% so that's like that's like doubling how fast it can build a certain thing so here I am I just made my first zealot and my wall in is complete so this is a wall in you would like in Kota so you have um, something something here something here and just you know a little crevice here where your zealot can just uh, stand around and kill anything he tries to go to so, this is very effective against Zerg. In, in Terran vs Protoss, you don't need to do a wall in because a Terran, uh, most Terran units are ranged and they can just, they don't have a need for a wall in. They, they can just like pick off the guard at the gate and just go through. Well, in Zerg vs Protoss, you n absolutely need a wall in. Uh, but in Protoss vs Protoss, there's no need for it either because just as like, like you said, there's only Zealot and since your wall in is only only made to so that zealot can pass through then obviously if he's just gonna spam zealot then there's there's gonna be no point in your wall in so you see you see here my my opponent tried to rush me with his six zerglings and there's another six more just outside my base i see them perfectly over here so he's just waiting and he's he's not gonna attack i hope i i hope because he's not um he doesn't have enough forces he's actually just making yeah two more joints because I think he knows that, that he's, he's a little bit behind and if I were a 4 gate rush, I'd probably be owning him right now because I'd have enough units to just push out and just kill his base. So instead I'm just going to be dropping my stargates and I'm actually supply bomb so I have to drop my pylon, in, pylon a few minutes later and I didn't notice it so I'm, I'm pretty still new about this game. Uh, and so here again, my opponent just tried, what my opponent actually tried to do is very interesting. He tried to bait my units out. So if my units had gone out into here to face the Zerglings, my opponent could have just run around my Zealots and just go in. So it's very important as a Protoss, if you're going against a, a six pool rush, you must not go away or you must not stray from your from your warrior. So here I am, one gateway is complete. So I'm actually gonna make my Phoenix soon. Uh yeah it should be up yeah I'm making it right now. So um, what I'm actually doing with my my with my probe is that I'm making my pylons as far away and as um, as at the ridges of my base. So this is to prevent any sort of uh, Nidus canal or any sort of cheese tactics that my opponent will be doing. Because 
Um, obviously, when he tries to go in, my pylon will be able to scout it. Well, my opponent um, actually isn't really good because he didn't send his his overlords his overlord to scout my base at all. He doesn't have any idea what I'm doing. He only sees the front door, so he doesn't know that I'm going for this phoenix harass. So. I already have my two phoenixes and I'm almost about ready to attack so I'm just gonna drop down a third pylon because um, and I noticed that in heated battles I tend to get supply block because I make a lot of units pretty fast and I, I don't have enough pylons so I'm, I'm usually gonna overcompensate and just make a lot of pylon before the battle so here I am I'm trying to begin my harass over here so I already have three phoenixes I'm making a fourth one so uh, Phoenixes are very good against Zerg because the Zerg, the Zerg <coughs> don't have any anti-air units very early. They only have the Queen. And what you should be doing as a Zerg in, a, in if your opponent chooses to go Phoenix is just spam Queen. So this is what I'm doing here. See, the, the, the Phoenix has an ability called Graviton B and it can lift up uh, a unit in the air and just pick it off in the air. So that's what I'm doing. I've already killed about... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he has already 17 units lost. I only have two. So that just shows how effective and harassed is early game to an economy of a player. So if you're a co if you're a player and you're running low on resources because someone's harassing you, it could be the end of your game. So yeah, I already have like five phoenixes. I uh, five phoenixes. When you have five, you have <coughs> excuse me. You have actually enough to pick off a queen. So. When you have 5 and your opponent doesn't have enough queens to defend you, it's basically GG for him. So he doesn't have any queen, he's not going to have any jones, you're going to pick them all off anyway. You see his, his roach and his forger, he can't do anything. And now he's just going to, it's pretty much GG. And this is showing to you how how effective this this build is against uh, a zerg. Yeah, so my, there you go, my opponent GG's and I've won this game. So, uh, thank you for viewing and hopefully you enjoy this game as much as I did. Okay, so good night.